Hello. Welcome to another edition of The Stench of Truth. Today, uh, Mitt Romney dropped out of the presidential race. This has gone contrary to my earlier stated opinion that the next to fall would be Huckabee. But it does appear to be part of a sinister strategy on the part of people in the GOP and the powers behind the scenes who are attempting to orchestrate the outcome of this election. And that is that they're desperate to have somebody become the clear winner prior to the convention and it not to be Ron Paul. Um, as we all know, after Super Tuesday, Ron Paul um, did not do particularly well in the sense of the popular vote, um, but he did garner a few um, committed delegates, and he did come in uh, second in a couple of states, uh, third in a few, and fourth in virtually all the rest. Um, but I don't think this really um, is indicative of the true support that is behind Ron Paul. Because remember, we're only dealing with primaries here. And even though in national polls he shows low numbers too, it's only because he has been artificially suppressed by the media and by those who control the media. So, his goal is still the same and he vows to fight on, and that is to garner enough delegates to reach the convention. Now, as he rightly points out, all of the people dropping out of the race, their delegates now become free agents. So anybody who is committed to Romney or um, if Huckabee is to go in the near future, um, which it's going to happen, it's just a matter of when, um, then any delegates committed to him become free agents as well. Um, the only thing that would prevent Paul from being able to go to the convention and have a significant impact, if not win the nomination, is if McCain were to seal the nomination prior to the convention by getting the required delegate total up over the required amount. Um, I think that this is what is being planned right now, and I think this is part of the reason why Romney is gone, so that more attention can be focused on getting John McCain the required number of delegates in order to win prior to the convention so that they can effectively shut out Ron Paul for good. Because if he's able to go to the convention with a significant number of delegates and John McCain does not have the nomination locked, they will have no choice but to give him the floor and allow him to speak. And I'm sure his speech and his persuasiveness and the truth of what he says will cause a lot of delegates to turn to him, especially when they have as the alternative John McCain. So let us look at the other side of the spectrum. You have an ongoing battle between Clinton and Obama, and it seems as though this is sort of a back and forth thing. Um, I only have this to say. Hillary Clinton is a crooked politician. Plain and simple. Just like her old man, well, um, Clinton, while he was president, certainly did some good things, but on the whole, he was a puppet for those above him, for the powers behind the scenes, and uh, he towed the line, as it were, just like every other president has done since, I don't know when, but definitely since the end of World War II. Um, and most especially since the 60s. And um, Hillary is basically just uh, another version of Bill. And uh, Obama, again, just a crooked politician. Um, he's in bed with, uh, with uh, crooked business people, and um, he has uh, the same backers as Hillary Clinton, um, uh, the same uh, law firms, the same... Um, media, and the same um, financial institutions back both candidates. So that ought to tell you a little bit something about what to expect from them. And in case any of you anti-war crowd out there and any of you change people out there are still thinking about Obama 
or about retaking the um, White House for the Democrats, just remember that either Obama or Clinton, if they were to win the presidency, it would not end our continued war in Iran in Iraq or Afghanistan, and it certainly would not mean an end to the endless war on terrorism. It would be a continuation of the same old, old party politics of the last 30, 40, 50, on and on years. And I ask you, do you really want that? Again, I say to all of you who really want change, the only candidate that represents real change is Ron Paul, period. I'm a registered independent. I'm changing my registration to be a Republican so that I can vote for him in my state's primary. I urge anybody else out there who sees this video to do the same thing. Change your affiliation, even if it's just for this election because it's so important that his message gets out and gets heard by as many people as possible. Now, I'm sorry to say that my prediction did not turn out, and Huckabee is still in the race while Romney has dropped out, but it is indicative of some shenanigans behind the scenes. So keep your eyes peeled on what is to come in the Republican race and see what happens down the road in a desperate effort on the part of those in control to keep Ron Paul silent and to clinch the nomination for somebody, anybody, for God's sake, other than Ron Paul. Thank you. Good night.